Hello and greetings. I'm State Representative Jerry Hurtas, and I want to thank you for the honor and privilege of having served as your State Representative these past four terms at the State Capitol. I also hope that you and your family during this COVID-19 pandemic have fared as best as possible under all of the circumstances. During these past eight years, I've been able to forge positive working relationships with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, and I've gained important seniority to be able to serve on some very important finance committees which affect all of us here at home. Of those committees that I serve on, I serve on state government finance, I also serve on a state uh, committee for local government. I serve on uh, the Ways and Means Committee, which is kind of the granddaddy of all committees that uh, has oversight over all other committees. And I'm also lead on the Property Tax Committee. Today, I'd like to talk about three, briefly about three subjects. I'd like to talk a little bit about COVID-19. I'd like to talk about public safety and the looming uh, fiscal crisis that's gonna be facing the state of Minnesota. On COVID-19, uh, just quickly, most of us have been into this pretty deeply, but uh, initially in the beginning, it was a very serious matter. It's still a serious matter, but the models and projections and the experts were very, very wrong. 850,000 predicted uh, hospitalizations, 74,000 deaths, and uh, it was clear that we were not prepared. There was broad bipartisan support to allow the governor to have executive powers and invoke those powers in order that we would get prepared and be able to do battle with COVID-19. So since that time and during these last six months, we've learned a lot more about COVID uh, and during the governor's six extensions of his executive powers, we have ramped it up. We have uh, more hospital capacity, more ICU capacity. We have greater access to ventilators and to PPEs. Uh, all of these things were necessary in order to be prepared. I believe that uh, in crisis management, there's three phases. There's emergency response, a management response, and a recovery response. And we've certainly passed the emergency response and we're now into the management response. And it's time for the governor, I believe, to end his emergency powers bring the legislature back together and we all be involved as co-equal branches of government and be able to be your representative and have a voice at the Capitol by helping to formulate how we're going to move forward from COVID-19. On public safety, there are those who are calling for the defunding of police. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, we need to continue to support our police in a civil and ordered society. We simply have to have police. We give up certain bundle of rights and sticks as uh, individuals and human beings by having police powers granted to someone else. Uh, maintaining law and order in our society is certainly what we need to do, and we need to do that for recruitment and retention for future police. Lastly, on the uh, fiscal crisis, uh, at March 13th, we had a $1.6 billion budget surplus. We had a $2.54 billion uh, reserve account, $350 million in the cash account, $1.6 billion in the state UC fund, the unemployment compensation fund. During these past six months, all of that has been exhausted and we're now looking at a $4.6 billion budget deficit. So the next legislature coming into session is going to have a big task in order to solve the uh, fiscal uh, problems that we're going to have. And this is going to be similar to what we went through uh, back in 2010 when we had uh, quite a budget issue and a shortfall of about $6 billion resulting from the Great Recession and the housing bust uh, during that decade. So with that, um, we've got big challenges ahead. I feel I'm very well prepared serving on these committees to serve you well, and I hope that you'll continue to support my candidacy, and I'd like to serve you again a fifth term at the state uh, legislature and uh, allow my seniority to have greater impact and greater influence in representing you. Thank you and have a great fall.